this is Barb Eichinger from Future Plus Systems. Welcome back to our lab. Today we're going to talk about a new product, the DisplayPort Protocol Analyzer for HBR3 and the latest revisions of DisplayPort. The product monitors both the high-speed main link and the aux port between the source and the sink. Several connection schemes are available. DisplayPort, Embedded DisplayPort, and the new USB Type-C. Let's see the tool in action. Our target is a DisplayPort 1.2 multi-stream running at 5.4 gig connected to two monitors. We can trigger the main link on all the different packet types. Let's capture a video frame. We start by triggering on a vertical blanking end. This product has powerful hardware storage qualification or filtering so that engineers can make the best use of the one gig state trace buffer. Let's capture just the pixel data on virtual channel one in addition to the blanking starts and the blanking ends. Now we just hit run and view the listing for probe stream one. Here's the start of the frame. Now let's use the find tool to go to the end of the frame. Here's the end of that frame and the start of the next frame. Now we can use the find tool again to go backwards to the last pixel data. Here it is. We need approximately two meg of trace buffer to capture one frame. The tool comes standard with one gig of trace buffer so engineers can capture 500 frames at one time. Let's capture the audio stream. The tool can filter out the pixel data so engineers can see only the events of interest. Here is the audio stream from both monitors. Let's take a look at the aux port. We can start by looking at the first acknowledge after the monitor has been plugged in. We can then use the find tool to find events of interest, like how the virtual channels have been allocated. The FS4500 DisplayPort Protocol Analyzer is the only tool on the market that covers all your DisplayPort analysis needs, up to and including the new HBR3 8.1 gigabit per second speed. For more information, visit our website at www.futureplus.com and we'll see you next time in the lab.